Well, good evening, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's had a great hump day. I hope you're getting over the hump. I hope you're humping. Uh, whatever it is you do with hump day, I hope you got to do a lot of it. You know, I've been on the Twitter. You know, Twitter is literally war. And I'm literally going through and dealing with a bunch of idiots, okay? Philly 500 started it all out. And so I decided to kind of chime in a little bit with the Eagle fans and stuff. And, you know, they're, they're trashing. And I'm just like, you know, well, Dak's garbage that he, they wouldn't, they wouldn't allow Dak Prescott. They would have gotten rid of Dak Prescott because we believe in excellence. And my response was that well, with all the excellence that you guys believe in, because you talked about getting rid of Andy Reid, you still only have one Super Bowl? Really? And the comeback was, well, if you want to go back in history, we had three uh, championships before the Cowboys even existed. It's like, hold up, hold, hold up. You literally are going to say our Super Bowls don't count because they're too old, but you're going to go back to what, 1947, 48, 1960, when there was only 10 teams, 10 teams. There's 16 teams in the NFC conference right now and 16 in the AFC. Really? That's your argument. I'm dealing with idiots. But I'm going to actually say something. I'm going to ask a real question here as soon as we get back from this break. Fuck them birds. Fly, eagles, fly. Now we shoot those birds out of the sky. Stupid dumbasses managed to give up a third and 30 to my sexy arm. Pathetic defense and team. No wonder I own those piece of shit frauds every damn year. Don't get me started on the fans. You boo me while I earned a respected award. Losing the Super Bowl was just karma for you fuckheads. I can't wait to drop 100 on your heads next season while being the daddy of the NFC East again. It, it, it's actually funny because much like the Cowboys and Dak Prescott kicking their teeth in, those don't matter. It doesn't matter that Dak Prescott has put up 40-plus points the last three games that he's played, okay? It doesn't matter that Jalen Hurts has never actually beaten the Cowboys. They say, and what have you done with that? Well, I'm just talking about between you and me, bro. Between you and me. Just because I get my ass kicked out there by somebody else, if you and me are fighting, you're going down. That's what matters. Your ass is going down. But... Serious question here. What if the Eagles basically sabotaged Jalen Hurts? Okay, let, let, let's just play a hypothetical here for a question. And I want to ask a real question. This all bullshit aside. If the Eagles did this to Jalen Hurts, how do you expect your season to go? Let's say you took not one, but two offensive linemen that were starters this year. And you decided to get rid of just, 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 just listen to me for a second. You got rid of two starting offensive linemen. Okay. And let's say Lane Johnson got hurt in training camp. Okay. Are you following me right now? Are you following me? Lane Johnson ends up ripping. I, I don't know. Something like say his hamstring gets pulled off the bone. Now, you got rid of two starting offensive linemen, okay? Not, they don't have to be great ones. They don't have to be your best offense. Just two offensive linemen. You got rid of two guys right there that were starters. Lane Johnson rips his hamstring off the bone and can't start the season. Now, I know he ripped his groin, you know, muscle off the bone or something like I don't know how. He did something and came back. But let's say he misses 11 games. All right, do you think Jalen Hurts would have the same season that he had last year going to the Super Bowl? Okay, all right. Keep, keep, just keep rolling with me right here, Eagle fan. Just keep rolling with me right here, okay? Let's say your team decided to trade A.J. Brown, just decided we're going to get rid of him, Right? You know, hold on to Devontae Smith because, you know, he's great. Devontae Smith is great. 136 catches last year. But you got you get rid of A.J. Brown. And also, you get rid of 
Um, let's see. Quez Watkins. Okay? So, A.J. Brown, Quez Watkins, you get rid of those guys. Okay? That's your number one and your number three wide receiver. And you go into the season with Devontae Smith as your number one and Zach Pascal as your number two. And let's see. I, I don't it, and I don't even know. You don't even have another wide receiver. Okay. So you got oh, oh, okay. All right. So so how's your team doing then, then next year? How is your team doing? Lane Johnson's that had his hamstring ripped off. You got rid of two starting offensive linemen. AJ Brown is traded along with Quez Watkins. Okay. Zach Pacal is your number two wide receiver. And when playoffs come around, playoffs, don't talk about playoffs. Miles Sanders breaks his ankle. Let me ask you, with Jalen Hurts, who is the greatest quarterback of all time, the greatest quarterback of all time, are you still in the Super Bowl? Are you even in the playoffs? Are you beating the Dallas Cowboys? I'm asking for a friend. Do you see Jalen Hurts as an MVP candidate? Do you see Jalen Hurts having to run for his life, throwing some more interceptions? Do you see Zach, Pist uh, uh, Zach Pastel being A.J. Brown? Because, oh, let me throw one, let me throw one more into the mix. Let me throw, oh, Jalen Hurts breaks his thumb week one against the Lions and has to come back, what, week, week six? Comes back week six. I ask you, do you even have a winning season? Real question here. And for all the Cowboy fans that are out there that are saying, Dak ain't it. Dak ain't it. Are you telling me that with all of that that happens to the Eagles, the Eagles are still what? 14 and 3? You're going to tell me they're 14 and 3 in the Super Bowl. And if you are, I'm going to say you're a lying SOB. Because that was the hand that was dealt Dak Prescott. And when I hear Eagle fans say that Jalen Hurts can handle adversity better than Dak Prescott, I don't know if too many people could handle having that situation literally thrown at them. So, Eagle fans, I ask you again, is your quarterback doing the same thing with that hand? And on the real, that's what my guy had to deal with this past year. And for all you talking heads out there that, you know, you've got the narrative of Dak Prescott and the interceptions. The amazing thing is, is you guys had the number one offensive line in football. And yet your guy still got sacked more than my guy. It says a lot about what my quarterback was actually able to do. Or excuse me, your team. Because even Cooper Rush is part of that. You guys gave up more sacks to Jalen Hurts than the Cowboys did with the offensive line we had. Just saying. Take that, Philly 500. Take that. And for one more time, for good measure. Fuck them birds. Fly, eagles, fly. Now we shoot those birds out of the sky. Stupid dumbasses managed to give up a third and 30 to my sexy arm. Pathetic defense and team. No wonder I own those piece of shit frauds every damn year. Don't get me started on the fans. You boo me while I earned a respected award. Losing the Super Bowl was just karma for you fuckheads. I can't wait to drop 100 on your heads next season while being the daddy of the NFC East again.